Okay. I started recording. So next one is BSOD. To screen of death. Okay. So it's a blue screener. Some people call this one as a blue screener. So most famous troubleshooting questions are a post related questions post for answer of test. Post related issues. Next one is blue screen errors. Boot MGR missing. Bootable file de device not unable to find. This is the most common questions. OK, so this some people call it as a blue screen of death. PSOD blue screen error. System error. I forget uh, one more thing. So that is uh, thing is if the system the PC restarts frequently. Frequent restart. Frequent restart. Okay, so another, another word. So you, frequent restart. Guys, there is uh, so many uh, uh, things are there. So, so many things are there. So there is a one possibility is because of BSOD. One possibility because of BSOD. So it's a only question, but we have to look if you look at the system or maybe if you ask questions to the customer or maybe if you ask uh, to. Next, what is a plus? What is next? OK, what is you can able to see on the screen? OK, so based on that we can understand which exact scenario it is. OK, frequent restart does not mean always blue screen of death guys. Always a, a, a question is not belongs to only one solution. It is there is a additional information. So find out additional information. Then only we know the what is the exact volume it is. OK, so of course BSOD is also give you frequent restarts. Other hand, so there is a more problem will be there. That is CPU is overheated. There's a possibility CP is war heated. Your CP has got war heated. So why it is war heated? Yeah, it's generally war heating. Next one is heat sink. Heat sink. Heat sink. Fan. Okay. Heat sink. Not fitted. Heat sink fan not working or not fitted. Not fitted. OK, properly not fitted properly. Not working fans. Okay. Just in heat sink. So I'm telling, but I am not showing uh, how it is look like, right? So I will we'll go to that one. Uh, CPU heat sink. Okay, so this is how heat sinks are there, guys. You know, a AMD processor is a more popular and it is cheaper than a, a Intel processor. For example, in Intel, you want to buy uh, i5 processors like a four core processor. You want to buy same price in a AMD. You will get a six core processor. OK, but you know compulsory AMD produce lot of heat. You have to use the cooling system like this. Very high level cooling system you require. 
so for intel no problem so normal cooling systems also no problem so this is the heat sink guys underneath this heat sink there is a processor see look at this is the processor this is the heat sink so heat processor get heat heat sink absorb the heat processor is getting heated heat sink absorb the heat and passes through it that fan is a exhaust fan guys it won't cool down the processor it actually take out the heat from it there is a two things are there you put a fan in your home room so you have a fan is there no fan blows air to you so then so you will get a you feel a um, little comfortable because the air uh, it is blown uh, on your face or on your body so then this the you feel very comfortable in that one right you feel it is cool uh, are you as a air cooler air cooler blows a cool air on you so that's you feel cool right so your body will get cool or maybe the other components in the home get cooled down ac room same thing but this is exhaust fan like if you go to kitchen uh, there is a exhaust fan so heat in the kitchen will exhaust to outside okay it's not cool down your kitchen actually it is take out heat from your kitchen right so same thing this is exhaust fan so this it absorb the heat the heat sink absorb the heat okay heat sink absorb the heat e fan take out the heat from the heat sink okay to run the this fan you want to make sure run this oh, 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 oh. okay so this is amazon part so to run this fan we need a a power connection so compulsory you have to connect uh, this heat sink uh, okay so different type of heat sinks are there so we can see here it is you can see the cable uh, connected here okay this is the cable you can see it is connected to motherboard so then fan will run very simple okay so it is fitted properly all four legs are fitted properly heat sink fan is running then it is cooled down continuously that is one thing any other reason like incompatibilities or any other reasons are there that is secondary part so temperature temperature differences also there like a one processor support a particular type of processors so the temperature differences wattage differences wattage supply differences are different socket tem uh, wattage power supply is for example 65 watts your processor is 45 watts capacity okay so what happen more power supply more heat okay or a more burden on a system more heat will generate so you put a more burden on your system processor will get heat okay so here it is more load on system cpu more heat next i will tell dust in a see this one heat sink fans and heat sink you know what happened one day not one day it is uh, it is happened for a uh, two three days uh, we have a system that is a last row system so the beside but means back side of the system means you people sitting in that one so system so the back side so exactly back side there is a window normally people you know people use uh, the cabinet is remote from the system that is one thing i have seen so the system cabinet uh, door is open there is a gap of course next main uh, window is there like a normal system window. we have ac but still uh, in a um, except in summer so we open the windows or in a in a power cut situations we open the window so in a winter uh, we don't use uh, ac supply because it's very cool in pune so what happened the people you know students in a lunch time they don't we don't use the ac part 
so they open the windows the dust from outside to inside will come right so we don't have much cleaner one they clean the floor with their dirt and see everything right so what happened dust is there and slowly this is a electronic components right so electromagnetic electrical uh, the charged particles are there so part the electricity running means whether it is high or low charged particles are there it attracts more dust normal than a normal dust attraction so it attracts more so obviously the fan and all kind of stuff that dust is formed into this heat sink and the heat sink so what happened heat sink the gaps in the heat sink is filled with the dust so the guy is uh, usually his name i forget his name uh, okay he power on the system system is on when he is working with the virtual machine load increases so cpu heat increases the heat is not able to unable to escape due to the dust due to the dust okay so uh, after 5 minutes so of use it is restarted and it is working and next 5 minutes it restarted it is because of heat only now now what happened here so i got a doubt so then i open the cabinet so i check the cabinet so then i see that cpu that fan assembly so i call the uh, one or two people near to that bench so look at this is the cpu this is the ram and all so i showed uh, the hardware components and as well as how to clean it so i went uh, to front office and uh, got this brush you know often uh, paint brush is enough to clean your system do not use any blower and all in generally better not to use any vacuum cleaners you can use a blower but not vacuum cleaner or use a brush that is a better one if you have only one system you don't require any extra only brush is enough paint brush normal uh, you know shops you will buy 10 20 rupees you will find a brush better to buy little quality brush put a 50 rupees for brush so you will strong brushes you will get it okay so i clean the uh, dust out out of that um, uh, heat sink so then i fix the assembly again and start the problem is solved because heat is able to escape from processor through the heat sink and fan so that it is getting cool it maintain the temperature so then is working so why it is happened because of not maintaining systems there uh, um, a dust and all we are not maintaining so we are just uh, we don't use because it's a end of systems last bin systems so we don't use it so dust is formed and we didn't clean it on time so then it is dust so that is the problem so luckily we got to understand that one if i call to uh, a technician in instead of uh, i'm troubleshooting if i call to the technician you will charge 500 600 1000 rupees also yeah in it is happened uh, two three times in our office also so we don't mind about the system or function it is not working not working right? so what the guy done it he replace the power cable only there is a problem with power cable nothing is problem is there so what he done he replace the power cable okay power cut is there he replace he put a new power cut and format ended you see we didn't ask for a format also we ask only why system is not working properly and he replaced the power card and format system he charged 1200 for that one so like two pieces he done so totally 1200 but 1200 or each pc 1200 or two pieces 1200 i didn't remember but so it's a payment charges there and our sir check like charan sir what happened he said uh, there is a power card problem how much power card 150 rupees why you charge 600 i format message this why you format yeah it's a pc you are saying it's not working i change my power card and then format so totally this is 600 plus 150 for each pc like that he put it okay that is the way technicians will do because they want to earn money they daily don't get a complaints right their concept is different but thing is as we do understand dust is also causes some problems here it is this is your laptop heat sink fan 
not heat sink it is a fan only heat sink laptop fan okay so you can see this is fan assembly this is only fan it does not contain any heat sink okay now this is copper rod you can see this copper rod and bottom you can see there is a aluminium part so what happen on processor this assembly will be there and heat is absorbed by this copper rod and sent to this assembly as sent to this assembly assembly now whenever the power uh, whenever this heat is there is a fan escapes the heat outside okay so we cannot put a fan directly on a processor heat sink okay so heat sink on the processor so heat sink absorb the heat and passes to copper rod and uh, this fan will escape the heat to outside that's why on laptop surroundings means four side of the laptop mainly where you see this fan assembly outside heat outing do not put any blockages don't block the fans okay fans ventilations it is also called as a ventilations okay ventilations fans breathers means the small small holes don't put it never put your laptop on your bed means you have a bed means it's a cloth area right so don't put it under that cloth area bed pillows laps lap means laptop means you can put it on your thighs right so your laptop you can put it on your thighs right don't put it okay it causes damages to your uh, uh, organs your cell cell level also there is a problem is there so it will damages your organs that is secondary very important is heat cannot be able to escape it is get overheated laptop is damaged laptop will damage and that to cloth having lot of dust so dust lot of dust will go inside your laptop because of the dust also system will damage i have a one laptop before this laptop very old days it at my almost end of my college so laptop so why it is war heated this is one of the reason is we keep the laptop on the beds pillows or laps okay so the escape heat escaping things is unable to go outside okay so and it attracts more dust particles particles from your cloth, uh, cloth materials and it is war heated and damages your battery and other things also okay so that is a uh, very important okay guys so this is laptop assembly so if your laptop so got lot of dust open in a back side ca case clean that one if you don't know just ask uh, anyone the technician so for cleaning purpose do <laughs> next another important is guys if you see this is there is a, some black color kind of stuff is there so that is called a heat sink paste that is called a heat sink paste okay this is having a heat sink paste also called as a thermal paste also called as a thermal paste like this this is a thermal paste it's a different cost is there guys so 10 rupees small dabba to 150 160 700 rupees also there okay you know when we are uh, you know when in a pune so our guy went to the computer shop and brought a uh, some thermal paste like this this same company okay so it is see 799 rupees but if you look at others it is a very less cost also okay so i don't know what is the difference uh, mainly between these things so this is the how we, they can put a heat sink don't touch with the fingers and nothing will happen it is look like a toothpaste only okay this is look like a toothpaste don't put a wower so you have to put a normally okay so this is a thermal paste it is a it's a kind of head soap paste okay uh, thermal paste never goes off automatically either you or guys open the assembly and clean it so that's why i said don't use the um, uh, vacuum cleaner kind of stuff you can use the blower but not vacuum cleaner 
don't use harsh cloths kind of stuff. Electromagnetic static electricity is another problem. So this is a processor how to put it and uh, there is a small uh, you can see here it is. So there is a small uh, assembly they will give along with your uh, thermal paste. OK, small like this, like this spoon type. So you can use that one and uh, you can apply on a thermal paste like this. You have to apply on it. And you have to put a your thermal. What is that? Heat sink on it. So what is the use of this paste guys? This absorb more heat and give it to your. Your uh, heat sink because heat sink is a direct uh, hard part. Processor is a hard part. So there is a, a contact is required from your processor to heat sink. So heat sink paste gives you more. More contact between processor and a heat sink. So more observation, more observation will occur more more heat observation is there. OK, so that is why. Heat sink should be there sometimes because of the cleaning process. Sometimes at the time of cleaning process, so people remove the heat sink paste. So that is also cause overheating. OK, so why it is overheated? So it because of the dust. More load on the systems. OK, not repeated properly. OK, next one is. I said. Heat sink. Paste. Or thermal paste. Cleaned. Sink paste or a thermal paste is contact from CPU to the sink. Okay, if it is clean. Contact miss. See if you will get here or heated. That's another possibility, guys. Okay, so here it is. System is you started a system running. Suddenly it is restarted. Again, system is running. It is restarted. Again, system is running. Restart. So it's a frequent restarts are occurs. It is because of CPU war heated. Next one is. There is another possibility is the incompatibilities, of course, incompatibilities and incompatible also lead to BSOD. So another one is BSOD. Guys, frequent restarts are okay, but BSOD thing not okay. Frequent restarts also not okay. Okay, so understand it is one is CPU are heated, but if you got a BSOD because of BS or some issue BSOD occur frequent restart is occur. Again in this one frequent restarts because of the BSOD. But you can see a blue screen on your screen on your system like you start a system you are working suddenly you got a blue screen of death. Okay. You will understand it is a blue screen error. It's very simple. Okay. So don't need to confuse between CPU or heated and blue screen death. CPU or heated don't show anything. Just system will restart. Blue screen of death will show blue screen. Blue screen error show blue screen. CPU or heated don't show anything. It restarts automatically. That's the way we can understand. Is it a CPU or heated or a blue screen of death? So no need to confuse in that one. That's why I said it's okay. Okay, it is okay. We can understand it's a blue screen of death or war heated. So importantly, B BS body will shows a blue screen. Guys, this is Windows XP, Windows 7 
type of blue screen. This is Windows 8, Windows 10 type of blue screen of death. So these are the main blue screen of deaths are there. So you can see like this. Next. Look at how it is look like. like this. So what is what causes this blue screen of death? Oh, I took a lot of time, so we'll see. What causes this blue screen of death? Uncompatible. Uncompatible. Compatible. Compatibility missing. Okay, 32 bit, 64 bit compatibility. Uncompatibles mainly hardware level, hardware incompatibility, hardware can be a software, can be a software, uh, drivers, So uncompatibility occurs at hardware handle. So depends upon situation you have to troubleshoot guys. Okay, depends upon a situation. Okay. Installed. So installed a new hardware. Using a release occur. What to do? Install a New hardware immediately blue screen of death is occur. What to do? Remove hardware. Next. You install drivers, device drivers. You got error. You got blue screen of error. What to do? Uninstall drivers from the system. Okay. For example, you install a new software. You got a BSOD. What to do? Uninstall software. Very simple, right? Not much simple. It's really tension. Tension means if it is solved. You don't know why, how it is solved. If it is not solved, you don't know how to solve it. But we have to try. That's it. Okay. There is only one option is last option, final. And the best option is format your PC. Okay. Uncompatibility or incompatibility between hardware, devices, and drivers. Between devices and drivers. Okay. A lot of conflicts are there. Uncompatibles, conflicts, conflicts are there like a IRQ conflict, IO address conflict means hardware based conflicts are there due to because of hardware, drivers, and some softwares. Very good. We are disconnected and connected back. Yes, are you able to hear my voice? Yes, yes sir. sir. Sure. Network is disconnected and connected back. Okay. Okay. So un uncompatible between hardware's drivers or software or hardware to driver kind of stuff. It leads sometimes conflicts, IRQ conflicts, IO address conflict kind of stuff due to that hardware part. Okay. Due to that hardware part or driver's part or a software kind of stuff. You know, 
I, I when I installed uh, this VMware workstation and when I installed VMware workstation 12 Pro VMware workstation 12 Pro. So at that time it is introduced newly. Uh, there is a check mark. Check mark is introduced. So for a enhanced keyboard type. Enhanced keyboard type. It's a very old one. Cannot get that one. So alert in messages only, but it is very old. OK, uh, you can check. Uh, you can check it out to install a VMware workstation in my YouTube. There's I will show the check mark. OK, so I can't able to show now. So when you are installing. One second. OK. So look at this picture. Enhanced keyboard drivers. The time it is a new option because I use 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But in a 12 it is introduced. So I thought it is will give you more better. I selected it. After that, after that I am getting. Error. OK, see this is the exact picture. So I check on it. I done a, a, a next, next, next kind of stuff. I installed it. After installation, what I'm getting is is a blue screen of death. So what I have to do? I installed that software. I installed the software. So problem is solved. Sometimes you won't get this thing. So you have to do another type of solutions. But here it is. Due to this software, I am getting that issue, so I install the software. I think you got the point. Next, you know, Facebook have say, a lot of games. Facebook games are there, so Candy Crush kind of stuff. You may know from the mobile phone, but when we are played, that is uh, Facebook games we play. So we need a more moves or more box kind of stuff. So we can able to hack with a very simple free hacking tool is there that is not for hacking. So that's so only mainly used for a uh, educational purpose. So we can understand we can capture the running process and we can modify the process and redo it like that kind of stuff. We can do it using a, 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 the tool name is there. I forget that tool name. Hacking tool only it is. No, not not this, not these things. Not its name is not hack. It is, it is uh, a process capture tool. It is so we can do it. But Facebook is more intelligent, right? So every day it is like a protective type. So what it is using? So Facebook, what it is saying? Uh, like a, uh, it is uh, controls like when you are trying to uh, access the Facebook process. It will do something to you. OK, it will do some kind of error like immediately I'm getting blue screen of death. So when I got a blue screen of death system, is going to restart. OK, so again, uh, again, I, will I, I don't know initial one or two times. I don't know what is happening. So then uh, finally I removed that software and never done like that. 
So that is what uh, the space bucket is. So here it is because of software. And sometimes when you install a new hardware, so you may get a BS body because uncompatible or incompatibility of hardware or a conflicts or maybe because of conflict. What is the meaning of conflict guys? For example, there is a 101. Okay, some other person name, uh, room is also 101. Same number conflict. So like that, every device is recognized by, prioritized by, recognized and prioritized by IRQ conflict. Sorry, IRQ request interrupt, interrupt request queuing, IO addresses, it will be recognized. Any conflict will occur, the problem will there. Conflict means uh, mind is not at all working because lack of people also there. Guys, look at here. This is my system. Okay. I connected a keyboard here. I connected a keyboard and I have a mouse. I have a hardware part is there, right? This is the hardware part is also there, right? And in that one motherboard is there. Motherboard, motherboard components, hard disk, okay, CD-ROM, like that. So it is there, right? So what happened here? For example, I'm giving a input from the keyboard. So pro it will go to your processor, and processor understand and process it. You do it, right? Processor understand RAM means main processing part understand signal came from the keyboard okay i move my mouse i just i move my mouse so what happened mouse is moving and uh, do the necessary action requirement so if i click something you do action immediately and understand it got a information or a command from the mouse okay so you have a hard disk it load operating system it load applications it stores data when you are reading you load the data from there right so like that you have a audio chip video chip network chip so many are there so every device is recognized by irq because which device is telling you is telling you or giving you command for a process so process understand from where the command is occurs and what is the meaning of that command. So your system is get confused between your device and another device because of both are having same IRQ numbers. Same IRQ numbers. Same IRQ numbers. So then it may causes BSOD. It may cause us yes. Sometimes your system confused between one IO addressing to another IO addressing or a memory IO memory one device IO memory to another device IO memory. It is conflict is occur. It causes BS body. So these things can be occurs because of hardware drivers and software means application software means applications as of some applications application mainly interacts with your hardware next change settings in bios may cause yes body so what to do reset settings reset or a change setting back okay so that is also cause you know earlier days we have a problem with some laptops in our hyderabad office so that those laptops are not enabled with the virtualization feature in the hardware level so i said how to go to bios and change the enable the BIOS uh, means virtualization technology enabled. Restart the computer and they got a BS body. Okay, so 
and uh, finally they don't know how to solve it so we sent to the service desk team so technical desktop support team those format the system from uh, world to new one so then problem is solved automatically the final is format the system okay conflicts conflicts because of bit conflict hardware 32 bit 64 bit conflict also there incompatibilities device incompatibility software incompatibility bit incompatibilities it guys guys sorry um um i'm telling why it is occurring where is this Guys, look at here. Blue screen of death. You know when blue screen of death is occur. So how it is occur? That is we have to check it. When blue screen of death is occur, what will happen? Look at. What will happen? It shows some data in it. So blue screen of death is occur. Why it is occur? Like a stop error code. Can look at here. Okay, you know, world systems. You can see stop error code is there. C one. This is five zero. Stop error code is there. You can search in a Google. What is five zero meaning? What is C one meaning? Okay, what is C one meaning? It is one A. What is one A meaning? Search in a Google. Troubleshoot according to it, but in a modern days, like a Windows 8 and Windows uh, 10, you'll get like this stop code kind of information, and it is showing some percentage running also. Look at it is there is a some percentage running, and it shows a stop code. What is the use of this stop code? When you see this stop code. Immediately take a picture using your mobile phone like that. Take a picture or write down what is your stop code, what information is there, okay, and search in a Google. Okay, put it in a any mobile Google kind of stuff now. So search it and find out find out why it is occur. What is the solutions you can make it. So the general solution I told, but specifically what is a where exactly problem is occur to tell. Yes, first of all, when blue screen of death is occur, it runs on your screen. It blocks your screen. You cannot do anything, and it shows a stop error and some percentage running some information on the screen. So once this percentage goes for hundred percent, what happen? Your PC restarts. Remember, what is the step? PC will be restarts. So restarts. Next time on your screen, you may get a BS body. You may not get a BS body. So it means if you got a BS body again, problem not solved. If you don't get a BS body again, problem solved automatically. Guys, conflicts, general conflicts will solve automatically by itself until unless you are done something to it. Okay, like a new hardware part or drivers or software installations. Okay, so if issue is there, if it is solved automatically, no problem. If it is not solved, you have to solve it. Again, I'm writing that point. Here it is. When BS body occurs, when BS body occurs, check stop error code 
अरे स्टॉप एरर का इंडस्टर अरे स्टॉप एरर स्टॉप कोड और स्टॉप एरर इन इन विंडोज टेन इट इस स्टॉप कोड इन वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड इस इट इस स्टॉप और स्टॉप एरर ओके स्टेप स्टॉप एरर एंड द परसेंटेज It also it shows when it is reach 100% complete. It collects the data. It collect the data. It 100% completed. Once once 100% completed, it restart the PC. Okay. Sometimes issue is. Resolved itself by restart. Let's restart. Anything you can use it. Okay. Sometimes issue is resolved automatically or itself by restart. So it restarts automatically. That time it will solve. Or you restart your PC. It may be solved. Next, if problem is solved, no problem at all, right? Okay, conflicts are there. It solves itself. Problem is solved, no problem. Problem not solved. You got BSOD again. You got a BSOD again. Now it is compulsory to do this thing. Okay. Recollect the information. Like okay, what we done last before BSOD occurs. That is very important. That is very important. Already I told. If you install new hardware and you got a BSOD, remove the hardware. Install new drivers or update the drivers. Create the drivers. You got BS body. Uninstall the drivers. Okay. Roll back the drivers. Roll back the drivers. You got a software. You install a software. Uninstall the software. You change settings in the BIOS. Rechange it. And some more things are there, so we'll go to that one. Okay. We can do it. So this is a, again same points. No need to write again, but I am right putting like this. What we done last before BSOD occurs, so we have to revert that change. Examples, these things. Okay, I am removing it because already I given this data. Revert the change. Next. Sometimes you cannot uninstall. Drivers or a rollback drivers, okay, and um, and uh, applications. You can't able to uninstall the some applications, okay. You cannot able to remove recent updates. That is updates may cause the BSOD also possible. Okay, so what to do? Go to save mode. You can go to save mode two ways. You can go to save mode. So, but uh, but before go to save mode, what is save mode, guys? Save mode is minimal OS used for troubleshooting. Generally, in safe mode, graphic. Okay, heavy graphics won't work. Okay, graphic drivers, graphic drivers, audio drivers. Easily put a graphics. 
audio background process applications virus antivirus not work not work okay background controlling process virus antiviruses not works in the save mode okay save mode so what is the advantage of it guys we can uninstall drivers or roll back drivers if you are unable to if you are unable to do it in a normal thing we can delete virus affected files because virus won't work here virus is also a process attacks on a other process or a data okay you can uninstall antiviruses easily applications very easily without any problem you can delete application we will can delete virus affected files okay undeletable files so this is what i am trying to say so what is the same mode guys it's a minimal os it is not regular operating system your operating system only but not regularly used operating system it is used for troubleshooting drivers won't work background process controlling don't work applications don't work only basic os will load okay. basic os will load okay so this is what i am trying to say next how to go to Safe mode. The safe mode concept is very important. Okay, what is safe mode concept is very why it is important. Any operating system safe mode type is there. Means we have a Windows, we have a direct safe mode is there. In Linux, there is a safe mode is there. Normal operating system booting safe mode booting is there. Okay, even for a VMware kind of voices are there. So some different voices safe mode is always there. rescue sometimes safe mode is also called as a rescue mode okay and other voices safe mode is also called rescue okay rescue You have to check your difference upon voice; it will change. Rescue, rescue, rescue. How to go to safe mode? Power off system. Then no. Press power button. Next, press F8. Okay. Sometimes shift press F8. Okay. So um, for a function, press F8. There's so three options are there, guys. One is So depends upon your laptop or a desktop. F8 function plus F8 or a shift plus F8 possible or shift plus function plus your function buttons like F1, F2, F3 are. 
become as secondaries. So you want to operate, you have to press the function button. Okay, so you can go. So then save mode screen APF. Why my brain is not at all APS. Okay, how save mode screen is APS? Look at here. Save mode. So like this, it is look like this one. Okay. So in this one, important option says save mode. Save mode with the command. Save mode with networking. I choose this option. Next. There is another lines are there, guys. Last known good configuration. This option is also there. Okay. It restores. Okay. If you, I put a star here. So I will write the star part here. If you got any issue due to, if you got any issue due to change of settings configuration, what is like a configuration? Okay, so then. Then go to save more screen. Choose last known good configuration. Okay, in a BS body also, change of configuration also causes BS body. So I didn't add that one. So I added or not added. Where, where, where it is added here. Settings in BIOS. I would just change of settings or configurations may cause yes what do you So you can change the configuration. This is one point. Next. So choose VS safe mode with networking or safe mode. Okay. So here it is. Because of the drivers, because of some drivers, because of some uh, operating system related issues or application related. So we can uninstall the applications, operating systems and all. So I'm telling another way to go to save mode. Okay, second way. This is first way. Second way I'm telling when system is running. Okay, when system is running. System running. Okay, so what to do? Go to run. Put a MS config like this. Go to run MS config. Look at here. This is a save mode. Go to boot option. Click on save mode. Save mode minimal or a network. So select network. Apply. OK. Then it will ask for a restart. Boot. So select uh, save mode and uh, extra option is network okay. and uh, apply. Uh, it is asked for a restart now or later. Okay. Select.
restart now only then you will get a save mode save mode okay so you can able to troubleshoot this is few things okay in a save mode we can able to uninstall kind of stuff possible so one only one solution i think uh, uh, completely two solutions generally but if you cannot able to do normal solution like that and you can do it guys again step by step look at here you got a blue screen of death so it is percentage running so this is bsod occurs bsod occur and it waits and restarted so system is restarted and fixed and you are not getting bsod again no problem sometimes it repeats itself sometimes after restart again you got a bsod now it is a very serious issue important is if you change anything you have to reset it back you install anything newly you have to uninstall it okay so this is what we have to do like you you inserted a new hardware you change a bios setting you uh, change some configuration operating system settings or maybe you you are uh, install new software or a new application or you are uh, trying to access some your uh, you know bios kind of means applications related uh, connectivity or doing something like that because of what causes bruce enough death because user only knows why it is occurring and when it is occurring in what situation bsod is occurs so find out that one revert that situation revert that situation okay so because of some causes it is occurs immediately we can able to take care next why safe mode why safe mode is important in a safe mode for example you install a application you update a drivers okay so or a, maybe uh, some because of some file you near you open bs what is occurring you are unable to remove it so safe mode is a basic system minimal os type okay so uh, unnecessary thing like a background applications viruses anti viruses okay application kind of stuff services is down so we can able to reset it back that is a, another possibility uh, of course we can go to one more possibility is there so system restore we can do system restoration there is another possibility is there so there so it restores system to earlier 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 system restore okay so for example you are searching for a system restore Okay, it is showing create a system restoration point recovery options recovery kind of stuff so you can just go through it okay configuration create system restore i want to restore my system so you can see system protection system restore click here so you can read it you can undo the system changes by reverting your computer to previous restoration point so so this is a automatically created restoration point on a 19th i am checking affected programs what happened on 19th i installed some programs and uninstalled some programs so maybe because of it is showing it is very clear point guys so luckily i have done something a system restoration point is created automatically but we will do it it restore the system to earlier or a previous previous 
Yari Ai Yes, okay. You can undo system changes. So that is we, uh, we will write it. So you can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a Yes, restore point. So, like this. So, it is showing. Look at here program and drivers that will be deleted. So, what I have uh, uh, done, so these things will be gone. After 19th, after this restoration point, these things are changed, occur. This is will be gone. And these changes occur on 19th. Okay, so what I have done, I removed my exam, removed my pie chart, and there is a older version of my Google Chrome edges also there. And I removed my Brave, uh, Brave updated. Okay, so see, look at here, it is a 96, Brave 96. This is 100. Okay, so 100 is a new one, 96 is the old one. So new one will be gone, world one will come up. CC cleaner 6.0 6.01. So 6.01 will come back, 6.20 will be gone. And a Chrome edition, you can see the Chrome edition, also world Chrome editions will come up. So I'm restoring to my world. The new one will, uh, what are the new changes are I've done, like a software changes, setting changes. What is it? Software settings, software and settings. Okay, software changes, setting changes will be reverted. Revert. You can revert software changes, revert. not data changes. Change data, you cannot revert it back. Okay, you can't get the deleted files. Okay, see this. I removed exam server, I will get back exam server. Uh, I will get back a pie chart. Okay, I, I, del I uninstalled the ne Apache NetBeans also. Eclipse also I uninstalled it. It is not listing here, but it is. I have done that time. So, what happened? The world will, will come back, new one will go. Okay, so like it is, this is also one of the troubleshooting. System restoration, we can undo the changes by reverting to your computer to previous restoration point. What are the things we can able to revert it? So software installations or changes. We'll revert data changes, not. So this is what happened. What is the way of troubleshooting BSOD? Also collect some uh, data about what is the BSOD, why it is occurs. Guys, it is again, what is BSOD and why it is occurs? And how to solve the BSOD issue. So these are uh, three things. If you know these three things, it is very happy and all these are uh, important questions so that's what i'm telling i'll share some questions uh, previous batch questions also i will try to share it so just try for a uh, why bs what is a frequently asked question i hope you understand people are not at all speaking it's okay no problem yes, for sir, now understood understood long yes, process because no one is speaking i keep telling and it is now it is 2 30. what we will do guys go through once from any resources either from video or not okay so tomorrow very shortcut we will discuss if possible okay if okay you don't, sir. okay now, uh,
So try to keep it very small size. Thank you guys. Some people waiting until almost 2.30. Thank you very much. Amanad, Bhavani, Venu Madhav. Thank you guys. OK. So also practice communication and technical also. OK. So if okay. possible, tomorrow we'll discuss about some important things once again. Means this compulsory trusting. Questions I will share it. Go through that one. And we will start uh, some networking related topic or a Windows 10 related topic. Okay. I shared already this PPT. Guys, compulsory go to this PPT. Okay. Yes, sir. Put PPT also there. That's it. Guys, bye bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Bye, sir. For lunch.